Hello everyone, my name is Dirt, so welcome back to my channel. Today, I realized something. You're running low on XP, so I decided to go to the nether and build a pigment farm. Since our nether is a nether waste. And by the way, I got this, I tamed this black cat that was wandering around the village. And I hope you guys can give it a name in the comments down below. And I also got some mending books. Since I shuffled some trade to the villagers off camera and some tons to look for a very cheap price. And I won't believe who gave me mending. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Yeah. If I remember correctly. Guy. This is a guy who I don't bore you just wait. There's the mending guy. This guy sold me mending for 10 emeralds, but since I keep trading with these guys, they decide to give me a discount, which is amazing since I can get mending for less than 10 emeralds now. And I also enchanted my crossbow with better enchantments off camera, and now this. Is what I'm talking about. It's after I put mending on it, it's going to be a great cross. Well, however, it does like quick charge tree, so I'm going to attempt to reshuffle quick to get quick charge tree off camera. I do not mistake. I should need some old stone gravel. And also, I'm really disorganized. I'm sorry for that. I'll go organize everything off camera. You need six slabs. Let's turn this into polish and then check so it looks fancier. I got six slabs there. I need. Okay, I just looked it up. I need five ladders, six trap door, and three hoppers and a chest. So let me go make three chests from the tree hop. Let me get four chests. One, two, and make three of them into hoppers yeah. yeah that's it let's put away some unwanted stuff that we do not want to lose I'm trying to carry as little things as I can since when I die, everything will drop and this is not hardcore mode. I can die in a few times before officially ending. So when I am on my last life, I can bring it whatever I wanted to bring because it doesn't matter if I die in the last time. Okay, right. Remember, this should be it. And hopefully this will give me enough XP for my crossbow which needs that mending on it and I'm also going to a nether for this farm since I'm going to kill pigmen for the farm to work but before I leave let's just make one more iron sword just in case the one we are having right now breaks Now it's time for us to go to the nether. So this is 
our nether. As you see, the nether waste biome. So it's going to be really easy to make this farm since it's supposed to be a nether waste biome. And there's a lot of pigmen that spawn here. To make the nether, to make the farm work, I need to. Uh, hey, we have forgotten something. I'll meet you guys when I'm ready. For this farm, we need to carve out a, a tree times four times four. Yeah. Let's go do it. And this pigment farm I'm building is really easy. I'm going to link the video that I saw, the tutorial video I saw down below, so can you guys can try yourself if your nether spawn is a nether waste biome. supposed to do one two three four one two three one two three four one two three I need to three blocks and the bottom should be four blocks. Wait, there's a pit of lava on where I'm supposed to build. Hidden lava is common in the nether. Power that up. One, two, three, one more block down. And yeah, this is the pit. Let me continue. Now let me place my chest. No. Make sure your hopper is connected to the block. Now replace that too with the chest. I did something wrong, so I need to fix it. And by the way, if you're trying to know why I'm trying to put hoppers on salt, I'm trying to pull a bl block without. I'm trying to place a hopper on a solid block because whenever I'm trying to place a hopper on a chest, it'll just face a solid bl block like netherrack over there. 
Either way, let me go grab some cobblestone. I want all these with slabs. Again, I'll use England or some god. Okay, now let's go make the wall. If I'm not mistaken, the wall is supposed to go something like this. <coughs> Whoa, gas. Better be careful. <coughs> yeah, those are extremely dangerous and annoying, but luckily I just have a crossbow. So where the hell is the gas? Where's the gas? Let me just go kill the gas before it does anything before anything goes wrong. So where is the damn gas? You know what? If we cannot see it, I think it cannot see us either. So let's go back into building a bigger farm. extremely vulnerable to gas attacks so whenever a gas shoots a fireball I need to run. so last but not least yeah the farm is done this way let's just oh the gas is over there let's take it down before it causes any further harm put the magma cube down ow where's the magma cube Where's the magma cube? Where's the gas? <laughs> the reason why there's a gas over there is because I'm in, located near Soul Sand Valley. Gas has higher spawn rates in Soul Sand Valley. Either way, if I'm not mistaken, all we need to do right now is. Hit one of the pigmen. Pigmen are really dangerous. Well, I had my first death. Oh, and it's by pigmen. Let's just ignore this. And by the way, I accidentally turned the slash key inventory thing true. So, so am I still intact? But I'm, but I'm letting it go this time and the next time I'm not letting myself get killed by pigmen again you know what to avoid any more mist the main problem
problem with Pikmin is like, <laughs> it's this. They think I'm not dead. This thing. So we need man when we kill them. We need to wait for them to come and over here. And then jump run. Like it. Like Okay, we are safe, we are safe. I mean, that was a mishap. That's one thing about big men, they're really cool. Once you hit them, once right, they're just becoming part of blood. Now I can safely kill them here. You always got to be really careful with big men. Oh, for that, just for two me, we had to do it. I knew all the pigmen is dead, so that's good. And I fall into the trap myself. Ever. So I'm being kind of a doofus. I'm sorry for that. Now let's get out of this place. All that trouble just to get a few points for XP. Just, let me just kill some of the pigmen before going home. They're all wang. Pigmen are really dangerous mobs. They'll gang up with you to you and they'll just deal with so much of that. I already died my first time doing this. all the pink men here. Let me just bait all the pink men here and let the farm do its thing. Thing good about this pigmen farm is it supplies us some gold <coughs> or sometimes so I can use it to barter piglins and use and make golden apples. <coughs> then we should just go home. <coughs> oh my god. This is not what I was expecting. They're all camping at my portal. I cannot believe anything more terrifying than a bunch of pigmen which you just provoke camping at your portal waiting for you to go back to the overworld. Let me lure them towards the iron golem so they can help me. This, this is one of the biggest scares in my mind. Ow. 
I'm almost down to losing my second life today. And the golden iron is doing it. It wasn't for the last sword swipe. Oh, I died two times in this video. It's already very, getting really embarrassing and now I'm already dying the second time. And for that, I'm bl blaming all my mishap on this black cat. I think he's the one that's causing all these problems. So I'm going to name him. I'm going to name him Misfortune for that. That's my black cat's new name. Once I get named Tang, I'm going to name him Misfortune. Because he seems to cause some bad luck while he's around. Well, he is a black cat, so I expect that. I didn't even know why I tamed him in the first place. Here, yeah, well, let's go enchant our diamond chest. Hopefully, no mishaps happen again. It was just too terrifying. Or I should just enchant our sword instead. Just too much to take. Enchanting lock sucks to top that up. And let's try this one last time. You will know how triggering it is when. The bad enchant- we only have 30 levels and got the bad enchantment which takes one enchantment level And then the good enchantment just needs one more level You won't know how triggering is that If that's the case, let me just go sell a bunch of stuff to the villagers nearby I'm sure I can get some XP from that the pig spawn since there's a butcher. I realized I can make a butcher villager and since I near live near a tiger bio can go how sweet berries on them when the butcher villager turns into a master I can just trade as much sweet berries to him and get a lot of emeralds. Let's go beat the pigs. And you know what? I learned the lesson. I should both barricade both of the nether portals and both the nether and the overworld. I shouldn't just barricade the overworld. So it's my fault that I got jump scared by a bunch of pigmen. Alright, before this video ends, let me just go do some house, house some crops, sell them to the villagers. I'm sure I can at least get sharpness for my sword.
Yeah, it's good. Day is just a disaster. Let me go just go run up to the iron golems if they can save me. Just see if they want to do something. This happened. This is all the world. This is all my most unlucky with. Right. Hell no. This is all the worst Minecraft videos I ever made. This is all my unluckiest times I ever played Minecraft. And it's all this black cat's fault. You. You are going to be sacrificed one day. The loss of one of my dogs. And the loss of one of my lives. It's all caused by. This little black cat. What's wrong with this zombie apocalypse? I'm sick of all this rubbish. How dare them? I have enough. I'm building an iron golem army. So sorry to my dogs. I'm just it's just so unlucky. <laughs> just look at the death messages. It's just so damn embarrassing. I don't even know how to just talk about that. Um, right. Trust me guys, I just want to stick it to my black cat for all this misfortune, but if I kill a cat in this video, it will guys will spam in the comments and hate me. So I'm going to spare the cat just because of the, the internet says don't kill cats. And anyway, let's just forget all of this hat happening. <laughs> and just sell her. I did not know. I did not know this video could take a turn for the worse. Man. Let's not think about it too much and just sell to villagers. The last thing I want to do in this video is to just make a tombstone for one of my dogs. Luckily all our villagers are safe. Thank goodness for that. All that trouble just to enchant my sword. this inspires me to do? I'm gonna build an iron golem army for my base. So I can wire off all those stupid hostile mobs that keep bothering me. I already died a few once. And also and my dog also one of my dogs also died because of this. I only get sharpness 4 for my sword. All of this just to enchant my sword and get sharpness 4. All of 
that. Either way, to, to end this video, I'm going to make a tombstone for my dog. It's a very sad and unfortunate day for me and my dog. I'm going to put this gravestone at the very spot my dog lives. This took a turn for the worse. I remember how much you love bones. I'm so sorry. You just need a moment of silence. Trying risking its life to defend its owner. What a loyal dog. I just hope you learn from your DC's partner. How much a sacrifice has your partner made for his owner? He died at day 46. Either way, thank you for watching this video. This video is just for mishaps and bad stuff. And even my dog, I lost one life and also my dog has lost one life. But be sure to subscribe for more content. As I'm hoping I can reach 1000 subscribers by the end of this year. If I do reach 1000 subscribers by the end of this year, I'm going to attempt to survive in the mountain only world for a 1.18 update. Either way, bye.